Well, today we have another very special treat for you. We've been invited to the private home of a collector in York in Pennsylvania to have a look at his arcade. And here we are. Spanky's in here somewhere. The first thing we see is a classic old jukebox. A Wurlitzer. Look at that. What a classic old game. It's beautiful. And we have gumball machines. I think that's what they call them here, gumball machines. There they are. And sampled some of this last night. Yangling beer. Very nice. Made locally here in Pennsylvania in a place called Pottsville. Now, we don't want to cast any aspersions, but this particular person really likes his Yangling beer. Now, here's a... Um, a United Royal Shuffle Alley. I've just played that a little while ago. That's a really cool game. I wasn't really good at it. That was my score, 181. I don't think that's real good. But anyway. Okay, now here we have um, a slot machine. A Jennings Wild Indian. In Australia, of course, we call these poker machines. But look at that. You can see all the, all the coin in there. What are they? They're, um, oh, they're uh, dimes. I'm getting used to this American money, slowly. Ah, there you are, Spanky. There's Spanky on top of a, the ever-popular bowling queen. Now, I just played that. Look at my score, 1369. I, I, I racked up maximum replays, but I didn't do so good on Ice Review. Ice Review is a very hard game for anyone that's never played it. Have a go. It's very tricky. It's got some good rule sets. Now... Here's a Stern Stingray. I haven't played that yet. Um, everyone knows my aversion to, electro, uh, to solid state games, but I'll play it in a moment. And we have a lovely Fun Fest here with a swinging target. A really good game, Fun Fest. Got the up post on it. That was a Norm Clark speciality. And over here we have a bow and arrow. Now this particular collector is the very first pinball machine he ever bought. So there we go, he's still got it. And I just had a go at this batting practice. Well, I need a hell of a lot more practice on it. I got used to it in the last 15 balls played, five runs. I don't think I'd get a run in any American baseball team. Well, Spanky's just made a friend. He's met a Halloween rat. Here he is. Now, Halloween is celebrated in America on the 31st of October. It's sort of becoming more accepted in Australia over the last 20 years. But here we go with this yangling again. Now, I'm going to tell you, people, I'm going to have a drink more of this Yangling before I leave Pennsylvania. It's quite good. I'm quite impressed with it. Now, let's show you. There's more to show you. Yangling. Here we go. Here's some typical drive-in speakers. Remember anyone that went to the drive-in in the 60s and that would remember in the 70s. And then in later years, they ended up replacing the drive-in you tuned in through your FM radio from memory. Um, I don't know. I suppose drive-ins are a thing of the past in the States. I know in Newcastle... Where we live, there was one drive-in, and sadly, it's closing down. So you don't get to see many drive-ins anymore. And, um, oh, there's something interesting. Something from the islands somewhere. Yeah. Actually, it's an American Indian totem pole. Silly me. Oh, and look, there's a, a lampshade with some more stuff on it. Now, let's go through and show you the other room. Oh, there's some nice little knickknacks down there under the television. This is in a basement, of course. Let's come through. We've got a we've got a gas pump here, a Texaco gas pump. Very cool indeed. There you go. Look at that. It's a tiny one, isn't it? Lovely. It looks like it's been restored. And we'll come inside now, and we've got a six shooter, an exhibit. Dale Six Shooter. Now, I've not seen one of these before, I don't believe. It's quite an interesting game. There it is. Have a look at that. Okay, now let's show you the ever popular Slick Chick. Now, I think this is about the third video we've had a Slick Chick in, and everyone knows the story to that by now, how it had to have its name changed from, um, oh, I've gone and forgotten again, I found out this morning. I'll think of it in a minute. Party Girl, that's right, it was going to be called Party Girl. But in 1962, that was considered extremely controversial. 
don't you think, Spanky? And Slick Chick is a hard game to play. There's no outlanes on Slick Chick. Just a very wide flipper gap. And here we have the Adderball Flipper Clown. Now, the goat shed repaired a flipper clown for, for Craig, who I'm travelling with at the moment. Oh, maybe four years ago. Maybe longer. And it's very nice like this one. Really, really great game by Wayne Nines. And here's Buckaroo. Now, we had a Buckaroo in, in for repair just before I left for the States. We had it at our pin fest. And this play field's really nice as well. And the other guy had his clear coated. And I, I don't see any reason why you couldn't get this one done if he wanted to. Nice roto target. Always good to have those spin. And here we have the ever popular Gottlieb Central Park. And look at that. It's got the Flipper Skill Game sign up on there, which is really cool. And the bell and the monkey. Remember our monkey on ours? Um, he had the hammer was broken off the end, I think. But you can get those off Pinball Resource. Now, all these games play like they should. And it brings me back to my childhood in the 60s when we played all these games. And this particular collector has a few other in store to do in, uh, in respect of he's got uh, an Atlantis, a Crosstown, just to mention a few. So it's great to be invited into people's homes to see their games. And we really appreciate it. Um, we've come a long way to see a lot of pinball machines and no matter if we've seen Slick Chick three times or whatever game it is, we, we appreciate each and every one of them. Well, as we sign off from this arcade, Spanky couldn't help himself. He had to get on top of the Yangling sign. Drunk again, drunken goat Spanky, making a disgrace of yourself in someone's private home. But once again, viewers, thanks very much for watching and we really hope you appreciate the insight into a collector's residence. And as I said earlier on, we thank this collector very, very much for inviting us to his home. We feel humbled. And this has been another Goat Shed presentation.